Hello, good day everyone. In today's video, we'll be talking about the celestial spheres and constellation that can be found in the Philippines. So please watch this video. The constellation served as the map during the early years and it tells about the countless stories about heroes and monsters through the years of humankind and cultures. Like in other countries, our Filipino ancestors did worship stars before as their gods. They have their own version of names, prayers, and stories depend on what region they're from. The region of the names of different astronomical bodies, some from deities in ancient Philippine mythology. Pala is a very good example and very common to hear. Pala is the goddess of the stars. Other examples are Mayari as a goddess of the moon and Hanan the goddess of the morning. They are the daughters of Bathala, an immortal woman. Another example is Apulaki who is the god of the sun. He was the son of Anagulai and Dumakulim. Now the Philippines has constellation and asterisms. Now there is a book called Balatic which is an ethnoastronomia Kalangitan at Kabihas ng Pilipino by Dr. Dante L. Ambrosio. It is about the link between astronomy and ethno-linguistic groups in the Philippines known as the ethno-astronomy. Now we have Barupuro is a connected sea navigation but like Balatik, it was primarily used to signal the beginning of the planting season. Now, here are some of the constellations and asterisks commonly known in the Philippines. Now, we have Tres Marias or the Three Marias. In Tagalog, Magbangal in Bukidnon and Seretar in Tidoray. Balatik is composed of perfectly aligned and evenly spaced stars which act as the belt of the constellation of Orion in Palawan and Apulao. However, Balatic is as seen as both the sword and the belt of Orion, start of planting and setting of traps to protect the crops from animals. Now we also have here the Sopot ni Judas or the Mapulin in Tagalog, San Apon in Ibalawi, and Kufu Kufu in Tidoray. In Wizard, it is known as the Star Caster Pleiades, the Seven Sisters, located in the constellation of Taurus. The Tagalog consulted the Star Cluster to know the shifting of the time and season, starting of planting season, also known. Now we also have the Lipo by the Matigsalog Manubo of the Bukidnon. In the Western equivalent, it is known as the constellation of Aquila. It signifies the time of clean or cleared fields while waiting for the harvest times. Now, Tagalog sets constellation called Talang Batugan or Lazy Me for its characteristic of slow motion, large size, and the brightness, and usually known as the guiding star for the shepherds. Now, we also have in Biko, there are stars such as Bugot, used as a sign for fishing and incoming storms. Saog is a four star and resemble a four sided figure which signals the beginning of night time. And Taro, three stars that shows an approaching storms. Now, another thing is we have Sipat and Tudong are mentioned in ritual known as Kintan, conducted by ethnic groups in the Cordillera to bless rice satellites. We also have Binabias, another star named by the people of Cordillera, is heard in prayers chanted during the ritual sacrifice of a chicken. So those are the constellations that can be found in the Philippines.